we'll guide you through how to fix the Valorant Secure Boot and or the TPM 2.0 error. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. To go and fix this, we'll need to go and enter our computer's BIOS. Don't worry, I'll guide you through and explain what you need to know. To go and enter your BIOS, the easiest way is to go and click on the Windows button at the bottom and then go and click on Settings. Head over to the left and click on System and go and scroll down until you see Recovery. In Recovery, go to Advanced Startup and go and click on Restart Now. When you go and click on Restart Now, you'll need to go and confirm your decision and now wait for it to restart. Your PC will restart to this screen, go and click on Troubleshoot and click on Advanced Options. And then what you want to do is click on UE FI Firmware Settings and press Restart. And your computer will now go and restart into your BIOS. If yours doesn't then boot into your BIOS, don't worry, simply restart your computer again. And usually when your computer boots, it will tell you how you can get into your BIOS. You may need to press on the delete key, but it will vary. But here we are in the BIOS. Now everyone's BIOS will look slightly different depending upon their motherboard manufacturer, but ultimately they've all got similar settings. So let's do this. You can use your keyboard to navigate. So you can use your up and down arrows and your side arrows to go across. And to click on something, you press enter. To go back, you press escape. And some, you can actually use your mouse like on mine. And just to note as well, secure boot or TPM may be called something different. For example, TPM may be called PTT in some motherboards. I think that's Intel. So if you can't go and find the setting, then you may want to go and search up your motherboard manufacturer, you know, and then what is TP called or something like that. And also to make things super easy on some motherboards is actually a search function. I can click here and I could then go and search the setting, for example, secure boot, and I can then go and enable it. But if that isn't the case for you, let's get into this. So for most people, you'll need to go into your settings and find um, security. Now, in this case, it's not in my settings. So I need to go and press escape and go back. And I need to just go into security. So I don't have to go into settings to get there. Some people you may do, but just look around and see what you can see. And then I need to go and click on secure boot firstly. So make sure you go and set that to enabled. Mine already has. And I've gone and fixed this problem before. And now for TPM, if you need that as well, we'll go and press escape like this. And for me, TPM is in trusted computing. So I can click there. And then what I need to do is make sure security device support is enabled because as you can see above this, we're in the TPM settings. So we're essentially enabling it. And you can also see on the right here that this enables the bio support for the security device, AKA TPM. So after you've made those changes, hopefully you managed to find them. Then all you need to do is go and press escape. Then you can press on the cross in the top right and it'll then say save configuration and exit. I'll press yes, just like so. Make sure you do the same and your PC will then go and restart again back into normal Windows. But those settings will be updated. So now you should be able to go and play Bellerin without getting that pop up. I hope you guys found this useful. 